So now let's see how to automate uh, the task of uh, updating new hardness coefficients in HECRAS, also with a Hydra. Again, if you download the uh, the compressed file first dot rar, first uh, decompress it, uh, you will get the folder, and inside the folder you have these files. Just launch the executable. And uh, here, so now let's go to the Manning tab. The f uh, it's also quite st straightforward. Now first uh, open the Hecras project. Again, we're going to use the example file. Then select the river and the ridge where you are going to work. By default has the names river and ridge that are the ones from the example file. Then assign the, ne the values for for the different sections of the of the river you, you can assign one uh, rawness value for the left over bank for the main channel and for the right over bank uh, let's give for instance 0 0.1 well I'm just giving random numbers well I mean uh, numbers that are easy to type and for this uh, section upstream and downstream cross section uh, let me show you this. It's quite important. This current version of a Hydra has one uh, limitation: is that the cross sections ha have to be in integer numbers and in consecutive order, like here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And uh, well, this uh, of uh, upstream and downstream. So the upstream uh, cross section is. Uh, for the ups, I mean the highest number is for the upstream cross section, and the lowest number is for the the downstream cross section. So in uh, these two text boxes, you specify the region, uh, I mean the from which section to which to which section you are going to update the the runs coefficient. Let's say for for example. 922 select how do you want to present the results by default it has a 2d plot and now let's show in table so it has run now let's see the, the table mm So we uh, here we, we see we uh, specify from uh, section nine to downstreams, and uh, here we have the new the new roundness coefficients. Or originally the all the all the river was with uh, roundness of 0 0.02, 0 0.02, and well, 0 0.013, and now we have this of uh, 0 0.1 for the leftover bank, 0 0.2 for the main channel. Uh, 0 0.2 for the main channel and 0 0.3 for the right over bank. And uh, so now we can easily give a new different um, uh, roughness and see how it affects. For instance, with this one, with this value 0 0.013 and 0 0.012, we have this profile. But if we use the well, the previous one, so well, we can see that the profile is quite different. Now again, let's give a uh, different uh, values and uh, lower values. Mm, 0 0.01, 0 0.12, 0 0.013. But now let's let's change to a different section. For instance, from say, three, six to four. We can run the model, and well, here we can see that a dif different, a different profile, which is uh, quite obvious. In section 0.6 and 0.4, it has a, a very low uh, roughness coefficients, so the flow can, the water can flow easily. But in the other uh, cross sections, it still has the roughness coefficients of 0.1 and 0.2, which are very high. So the water 
uh, is does not flow so easily and stays. So again, um, so you can see it's uh, quite easy and quite straightforward. Any any su any suggestion, any comment, or any problem, just go to the to the help and uh, or just con contact us via email or via the website.